All right, so in this video, what we're going to talk about is how to actually, you know, simulate, or basically what we're going to do is we're going to copy a DDE OPC link that we set up and we're going to use it inside of our um, Excel spreadsheet, right? So we're going to just copy this link and paste it in our Excel spreadsheet. So now keep in mind, this does work and it does sometimes not work depending upon your setup. So uh, what I mean by that is sometimes uh, Windows 7 works very, very fluently, very easy. And sometimes Windows 10 has uh, issues because there are certain environments or certain things you need to enable on Windows 10 because DDE is what we're going to is basically what it's going to be using. And when it comes down to it, even though you're using an OPC topic like we're going to show here, um, this OPC topic we're, we're going to show that it is actually pre-done, right? So um, with that said, you know, even though they're OPC topics, they're still using a DDE command. So with if you're using a Windows 10 environment, there's certain things that need to be added to that as far as your like maybe your registry or maybe even sometimes your um, stuff that you're going to be using. So let's open up our Excel. So we're going to go and get Excel. We're going to open up Excel right here. And this is using Excel 2013. And we're just going to open up a blank one. Okay. And even though it's not even a, uh, it's not, it's not even uh, product validated. So just coming in, talking about this, right? We have two programs. I have the uh, rock, paper, scissors I've done in the past, which um, I can come in and download to this. This is the, uh, this is the second processor right here. Uh, and this is rock, paper, scissors. So let's download this right here. And what I want to do here is just, just highlight two different ones we can actually do. So first I'm going to show you how to set one up. I'm going to show you how to set the, the OPC up. And then I'm going to show you how to just copy that link over so you can actually pull the data from it. Now, and then I'm going to show you the uh, PWM uh, pulse voice modula modulation that we, we did so you can see data flowing and moving right rapidly. So it, it's very fluently and, and easy to see. So now that we have this, <clears throat> Okay, we have uh, we're online. So we're gonna open this up, and then we're gonna go to rock paper scissors, and then we're gonna go right here. Actually, let's uh, let's come in and refresh that, so we get a fresh sense of what's going on. So we'll get the rock paper scissors, and then we'll come in and get our right here. We'll add that to. This is a virtual black. Uh, virtual backplane which is basically an emulator you now naturally you would use a, uh, a standard protocol of a PLC part you know like a whatever PLC you're using whether it be a control logics or, or whatever the case may be um, maybe even a slick 500 or a, a micro logics or something um, even a compact logics but the, the point of this is I'm, I'm emulating what I'm doing and it's just that simple as two so we're gonna add that so now we've we've made our tie between our our OPC topic and our actual processor. We're going to click done right here. We're going to come up here to edit. We're going to hit copy DDE link. Uh, and then we're going to go to rock, paper, scissors. We're going to go to online. We're going to pick just some, some things we want to add in here, right? So this is just a generic uh, game. So I'm just going to pick that and I'll hit OK. And then I'll come over here and then I'm going to pick this and paste and when I paste I want to paste as a link right and Unicode text and this will come in as NA and then it will come in as the value so you can see that scrolling through and it, it's going to actually indicate back and forth right so let's do another one let's do uh, the this right here this would be the PWM which is the uh, a P, a PID loop that continuously goes up and down. Let's actually throw this in manual real quick so you can see it fluctuating. And we're gonna throw this PV off a little bit so that way you can see the CV and everything working properly. So we're gonna come in here and do that. And then what we're gonna do is take it out of manual and put it back into auto. And then we're gonna come into our RS links. We're gonna grab our DDE link again and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to uh, PWM. We're going to grab our CV. 
we're going to copy that and then we're going to paste it over here so you can do multiple things we're going to paste as link come in here and then it will actually come in and this is the live data that it's actually flowing through there right now so this is the cv data right here so you can see that so this is actually live data you can see the 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 link that it posted right so equals links and then this is the this right here is the actual uh, OPC topic and then CV1 is the tag and then L1 L and then so but as you're editing it you can see right so you can if you go to edit it it will stop but as soon as you get off of it it will start back now again keep in mind that this is actually going to only work on certain like I said when you go to, to Windows 10 you could run into problems with this uh, when you go to uh, when you're on Windows 7 generally you don't have any problems no matter what version of, of Office you're running but if you're running a version of Office uh, generally Windows 10 if you're running a higher version of Office it runs better uh, if you're running 2013 so there's some things you need to enable you need to able, enable DDE you need to enable so you need to go into um, you need to go into over here uh, into properties and the properties you go into add-ins I believe it is advanced for one you would come over here and you would come over here to general and ignore the DDE and then it entrusted you entrusted in the the newer versions what you would do is there would be a second version down here and external content and you would actually enable and prompt uh, the ability to use DDE. So I just want to kind of show you that and show you that how uh, fluent and easy that is to work. And uh, just uh, to give you a way to actually connect the two, if you ever wanted to test your uh, OPC and DDE with your RS uh, or your your actual um, uh, your Excel spreadsheets and stuff like that. So hopefully that was helpful, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.